Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers and in this video I want to show you a fun and easy uh, background technique which is very addicting. You will need a sm uh, travel iron or a craft iron without holes and set it on medium settings and just regular um, crayons to start out with. We'll also need a piece of cardstock. Uh, you can use glossy as well as regular cardstock, but the wax moves a lot easier on glossy cardstock. Now you could just make one single background, but I want to show you how to do. It's really easy, uh, like a landscape look. To start out with, I start with um, the sky, and I'll just add some blue. And as you can see. The crayon melts as soon as you put it on. Uh, some gray, some white, and just a little bit of orange for a different look. And then you can go smooth over and you will get a smooth look. Or you can just zigzag it a little bit for a layered look. And you can wipe it off a little bit with um, a Kleenex. Now I'm going to use some greens. Don't worry too much about it, just pick a different, a couple different greens and then I add a, a brown line on top. Now I have to move it a little bit. And now move it in like a figure eight motion so you get a hill look there. Now if you want to add just a little bit more texture, just add some more green. Because right now it's so smooth. Yellow to make it lighter. And then if you lift it like this, just place it down and lift it, you will get a t more texture. Then you just let it dry. And then you can use it just like that. And if you want it a little bit uh, shiny, just buff it really slightly with your lightly with uh, tissue paper to make it shine. And then you can stamp on it if you want to. I like to use archival ink for that, black. You can also use just black stays on. The stamp I'm using here is from Flourishes. Just stamp it on there. Now, glossy is slippery, so be careful when you stamp. And um, it takes a while to dry on wax, about a minute or two. Just let, set it aside to dry and turn it into a card. I hope you have fun exploring all kinds of different backgrounds with your crayons. See you next time.